Greetings and welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson, we're going to go over our spelling words for the day. Make sure that you're on page eight in the middle portion of your spelling book. And let's go ahead and fold this page in half neatly. As we go through, make sure that you're participating well using your hands and fingers, break words into syllables and sounds. Make sure you're trying to say everything with me so you're learning how to spell English words. And make sure that you include all the appropriate spaces, rules, and markings. Now, the first word is the word catch. Like, I need you to catch something. Now, this word is an, an interesting word because it has a silent letter in it, but it follows a pattern. So let's do catch. Catch. K-A-C-H. Now, that's what we hear, right? We hear that C-H. Okay? But there is a T that comes in the middle. And so oftentimes... When you have a single vowel and then a CH, a T will come in the middle. You don't really hear it, um, but it's a normal pattern that English words have. When you have a single vowel followed by a CH, you put a T in the middle. So here for catch, C-A by itself, CH, so you put a T in the middle. Right, write the word catch. K-A. Catch. Markings. K -a -ch. Once. Catch. Now the next word is a catcher. So someone who catches is a catcher. Catcher. Base word catch ending er. I write catch, add er to make the word catcher. K -a -ch -ch. Er. Catcher. K -a -ch -ch. Er. Catcher. We're going to brace these two together. Now, the next word is the word kitchen. Okay, so I went to the kitchen. Kitchen. Base word kitchen. Kitch n. K -i. And what do we hear? We hear a ch, right? So we're going to have a silent t. Ch, ch, e, n. Kitchen. Right? Kitchen. I, t, ch, e, n, kitchen. And markings, k, e, t, ch, once, e, n. And then the last one is butcher. So butcher is like someone who cuts meat. Butcher, base word, butcher. Butch, er, b, uh, we hear a, we hear a ch coming next. So t, ch, er, er of her. Right, right, butcher. B, uh, t, ch, er. Markings, b, uh, three, t, ch, once, er, once. Butcher. Right, and then we'll brace these three here together. So just remember when you hear that a single vowel followed by a ch, oftentimes you're going to have a t in the middle. Not always. Um, but but oftentimes. All right. Now the next word is the color black. Black. B o a k. Black. Here we're gonna use a c k. Right. Black. B o a k. Black. B o a k. Once. Rule twenty five. Rule twenty five is I can only use a c k after a single vowel that makes its first sound. Now the next word is warm, like it's warm outside. Warm, wa or m, mm, warm. But here we're not going to use an o r because that'd be the word worm, right? So it is the or sound, but we're going to use an a r to spell it. Okay, so you just have to remember this that uses an a r even though it says or, right? Warm, wa or m, mm. wa r twice. Mm, warm. Okay, it's a phonogram. It's not supposed to make that sound. Next, we have unless. So, like, it's not going to happen unless you do this. Unless. Prefix un, base word less. I write un, add less to make the word unless. Unless. Uh, n, o, e, s, s. Unless. Un, less. Uh, n, o, s, s, rule 17. Rule 17, 
whereas the N and S often double. Now the next word, clothe. Like I need you to clothe yourselves. Put clothes on, okay? Clothe. Base word, clothe. K -o -o -v -e. Clothe, right? Here, this E is going to let this O say O, right? Clothe. K -o -o -v -e. Clothe. Markings. K -o -o once. V once. Two. E once. So here, the TH making a second sound, but this E is letting the O say O. Next, now when you clothe yourself, you clothe yourself with clothes. Clothes. Base word clothe, ending S. I write, or ending S, or Z, ending Z. I write clothe, add Z to make the word clothes. K, O, O, V, E, S. Okay? Clothes. K, O, O, V, E, and then S or Z. K, O, O, once, V, once, two, E, um, once, Z, two. So again here, the E is not at the end of the word, but it was at the end of the base word, so it's still doing the same thing, making the O say O. And I add that S on the end, make it, make it say clothes. And the next word is clothing. So my shirt is an article of clothing. Clothing, base word clothe, ending ing. I write clothe without the silent final E because my ending ing starts with a vowel. Clothe ing. K -o -o -v -i -ung. Clothing. Clothe ing. K -o -o -v once or two. Rule eleven. I Ung once. Clothing. Now here, there's no E making the O say O, but it said it in the base word, so it gets to say it. The power of the silent finally is still there, so it still gets to say it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, that's the end of our lesson for today. I hope you have a terrific day. And I look